What's up, everybody? Hey, check this out right now. I got this big bridge behind me, right? It's the St. John Bridge in Portland, but even more so, we're doing an awesome tour right now with this lovely couple, Danny, Lindsay. One's a traveling nurse, the other one's a stay-at-home van, person, girl, thing. What? Cat mom. Cat mom. We're gonna go check out their van right now. What's up, guys? Hi. How are you? Good. I'm off camera now. But I'll be behind it. I'll be uh, commentating every now and again. That's Crazy Lindsay, everybody, just playing with her cat. Blinking <laughs> <laughs> at me. Uh, so even before we get started, what do we have for a van here behind you? 2018 Ram Promaster 3500 Extended. 3500 Extended? Big boy. This is the big guy. How many feet is it from bumper to bumper? 21 feet, I believe. 21? And that you have that's a lot of room. So you better you better have a lot of stuff in there. Pretty good layout. I like it. Word on the street is this bad boy's a four season van. Four seasons ready. We've got any, anything from the heater on the water tank under there. Yeah. The thermostat to the all terrain tires. So we're pretty much ready for it now. What is gonna be things that are out of sight that I'm not gonna be able to get on video while we're in doing a tour that you kinda wanna just throw out there? because I know there are things that you, I cannot see because I know them because I know you two personally, but some cool stuff that just maybe people don't realize. For example, solar. Well, how much solar do you have? 600 watts of monocrystalline panels up top and then the 700 amp hours of deep cell AGMs. What about your propane tank? Propane, 12 or it's a 12 gallon horizontal mount under the back axle. We've got a 20 gallon gray water tank with the thermostat heater on it with the switch inside. What else do we have? 30 gallon brush. I've got airbags for an air ride system in the back with a nice remote control. Really? Mm -hmm. Put some money into this guy. It's not too bad if you do all the work yourself. <laughs> this is true. And how long did it take you? About five or six months. Five or six months and you literally did all the research yourself? You built it yourself? Were you helping out? Definitely had I some... I picked the color. Had some help with some, <laughs> obviously, YouTube videos and everything like that, and then there was one builder that helped us out a lot. Oh, that's right. You want to give him a shout? Sure. Trent and Allie, for sure. Yeah, Trent and Allie did help him out. I mean, you paid them. They, they helped out. Oh, yeah, it was, your, it was a Patreon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was one of their account. Patreon things, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, Trent and Allie, they're good people. I don't know them personally, but I, I know of them. They seem pretty legit. All right, let's step inside and see what we got. Oh, yeah, we uh, as we just saw, like, a, a creepy black cat just cross past us. Mowgli. This is one of your your fur babies. Yep, this is Moogs. Mowgli and I get along quite well. They grows for life. You have another one too. Yeah, he's he's underneath the steering wheel if you can get in there. Yeah, well, he's That's down Bagheera. there. Also another black cat with green eyes. So what do we got here? I know you guys, this is like a lot just right here in the beginning. So yeah. go ahead. So this is our hanging closet. So all of our coats, um, my dresses, and then these are workout bags, and then a hanging mirror. Look at you, full size, know, look at that full thing. Full size, a must. Complications. This is our lock. We have a fully compostable nature head toilet that's on 500 pound drawer slides. What's and so amazing about this, by the way, is there's a window on that slider and it's so tinted <laughs> that I know that you guys both do your business while watching people. Yes, <laughs> or while people are fixing their hair in our tinted window. Oh, that's and right. We're just that's staring right. at them, waving. Yes. They can't see us. <laughs> so if you haven't noticed yet, our dogs. I know. Look at these little knobs. You found those guys on Amazon, right? Yeah. Yeah. Represent. Yeah, you're a big fan our, of the cats. Of yes, of our babies. <laughs> so this is. Welcome to van life. If I open this and the onion flies out, I'm really sorry. This is our food storage. All your dry storage. Wow. Yeah. So dry storage, coffee, um, club soda for my vodka sodas. We have protein back here, cookbooks. So we mainly cook fresh food, so we don't have that much dry storage. So we're trying to configure a better way to use this space. Of course. Of course. But, oh yeah. And then we have a <laughs> bottle opener. <laughs> Big fan of that one. <laughs> Uh, did you guys know how, what the depth of that? Because that was pretty deep. Uh, that's like 24 inches. Is it? Yeah. Around that's pretty 24. deep. Yeah. Because yeah. I believe you were originally going to make this space into a bathroom? That was gonna or be a one. shower. Excuse yeah, me, shower. Yeah, a shower right there. We went back and forth with it. We definitely going to do the shower. And then last minute, she was like, 
We don't need it. We don't need it. We're no. we're in the city three days a week. I was on There's the fence no the whole reason. time. Sorry. Well, now that well now that we're on that subject, why are you guys in the city that much? Because uh, uh, you know, I, I said that you were a stay at home cat mom, but Danny, what do you do? It's a very. I'm a travel nurse. Say. Been doing it for four years now. So five months in the van full time. Before that, it was just apartments. So the vans helped out a lot for a lot of reasons. Main reason is that we get to do tons more of an adventure. Right. We don't have to move every three months. It was a hassle. I mean, apartments charge you way more whenever you're doing the month to month or three month lease. And I mean, there's like high paying one week jobs that we could go to. It's it's opened up so many doors for us. Speaking of opening up drawers, look at this. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> So this is our fridge. Huge fridge. Yes. On, on a How huge many cans slider. Does that fit? I like 105 cans, I think. It's the 65 something. So I'm assuming that's liters. I yeah, it's the Dometic 65, whatever it is, DZ or whatever it is. Can I, I open it up? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, open it up. I'm gonna open you it. Got, yeah. I didn't, I didn't get the. <laughs> we didn't go DZ. Look at that. So no freezer for us. Just oh, space. Oh. Okay. So yeah. it's just a, it's just no a single ice zone. Cream. You can turn it into a freezer. It goes down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. There so either you have a fridge or you have a freezer. Yeah. So I guess if you're going to go on a cool trip for a week or two and leave your van behind, if you had some stuff in there, you can just freeze it until you get back. Right on. Right on. We got some people next to us that I might have to edit out. All right, so guys, we actually have, uh, we're in a parking lot, as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, and we have some people outside. So this is problems with doing tours inside of parking lots. It happens, right, guys? It does happen. <laughs> so occasionally we'll run into some people that, you know, no big deal. Thanks for the light, Dan. <laughs> yeah, I, thought, I think we need it. So you nice. you think we do, but it's actually not that bad. All right, so you guys are big uh, foodies. You guys like to cook. Yes, we do. Your right hand is on, and your elbow is on something that's pretty cool that I like a lot. Yeah. It's your oven, right? Oh, so, with a propane, we got propane for the heating. We got uh, we got propane for cooking, propane for heating. And the hot water tank, just due to the having 10, 12 gallons. Yeah, it's nice how it goes up and creates more space for when you're cutting. Yeah, these are also the couple that uh, you guys did my cast iron thingamajiggy, whatever that yes. was. You got and like the only reason we could do that was because you have the oven and you have enough propane on board to last you. What was your? You filled up your tank once every three months. Yeah, three months in the summertime. It seems like. Okay. I don't know about winter. Because you use a little bit more for heat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you're about to go to SoCal, so might you might not need it as much. Now, you also have a table that slides out right there. I know this design. Mm -hmm. 36 inch table, nice uh, 500 pound drawer slide, so you can definitely lean can on lean it and on do it. whatever you need to do. It's also a great prep. Hey, what you guys do in your personal lives, I don't need to hear about <laughs> on video, okay? We also have. Oh, that's right. You have a little leaf right here, right? Yeah. We have a leaf as well for more prep station from when I'm on cooking. So that's pretty nifty. You should catch it all because this is what I'm is. dealing with when I'm cooking. It is so nice. I have all of this yeah. prep. Yeah. So who does? Uh, you guys split cooking pretty evenly. Yeah. Um, Danny does a lot of the grilling, but you do a lot of the cooking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I do a lot of like, like I said, the prep work. I think that's what I keep on emphasizing on is like she, cutting all the vegetables yeah. and like segregating the meats and doing all that. And I have all these areas where I'm not having to use my bed. Yeah, that stuff. would be, yeah. that would be crappy. She's amazing at planning all the meals, coming up with new stuff, and just to cook. Speaking of, I want you to do a cooking show for your YouTube channel, because uh, these two are actually YouTubers, and it's just follow them at... Lindsay and Danny Van Life. There it is, Lindsay and Danny Van Life, all different words. Uh, I'll put a little thing up on the screen. That bed is actually massive. She wanted a king I wanted size. a king. <laughs> I was like, that's ridiculous. We can't, we had a king size in oh, this actual so van. Awesome. Okay. We had it for six weeks without it being built out in Seattle. Okay. And we moved out of our apartment early well, and said, eh, what the What heck? did you put the bed on top of though? Sure, but I'm just saying we had a king size bed in here. On top of cinder blocks. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Nice big temper it, it, it was a loft style, just like this. It was about this high. We had storage under it. We put all our stuff under here. What's great. that cabinet underneath? I don't even know what that this is. This is just a general storage cabinet that actually has a false floor and back to where the electrical cabinet's in there. And you can oh, okay. see it's kind of hard to open. You saw, I'm using the adjustable ball latch for those. So that's just and more, just extra just, storage yeah, for you. Yeah, vitamins. Just storage. 
And you're vacuum. Underneath your benches is more storage. Um. Yes. So you guys yeah. have a lot. You have to open them up, but storage wow, they have a this lot. One. That one's where the wa hot water heater is in oh, the furnace. Oh, shoe storage as well. Oh, of course. For tons of shoe yeah. storage. Plumbing access. There you go. Switchboard. Um, all right, before we go into the bed, even though I already talked about it, uh, you have this really cool feature down here because you have two kitties. People always ask, well, how do, how do you do with a cat box yeah, or a litter box? Yeah, where do you do with the cat box? So you have a little so, kitty door. Yes, this is a little kitty door. So open it and yeah. Oh, you have everything in there. You have the cat, cat box. box. We have the trash. Um, this is our sweeper. This is their food. And then the cat box cleaner is back here. Okay, yeah. so the next question people are going to ask is... How do you feel about uh, the smell of kitty litter? How do you deal with that? You scoop every day. Oh, okay. And I'm, I didn't quite know how it was going to go, but it hasn't been an issue. I didn't even scoop it today, so we went two days yeah. and you can't smell it. So you don't have you to think? scoop it every day. Yeah, I'm You're fine. To it. I'm okay. <laughs> the know, door's wide sometimes. open, but it's cool. Right. Two, you know, every other day is fine too. And as long as you, you might switch it a little more often than you would if it was in the basement of the house or sticks and bricks. So This bed, uh, does one of you want to get up there? To see how big it is? To show how big it is? Yeah. Danny, how tall are you? 5'10 slash 11. Oh, they just said 5'9 and a half at a, as a, at a doctor's At a physical, yeah. Yeah, the other day, but I still have, if my feet were all the way down there with shoes, I still have this much space. Yeah, you're good. So. And Lindsay, you're a little shorter, right? I am a little shorter. I don't have any issue. Could you put your arm on one side, like, like all the way this to the way? edge? Yeah, to show how big that is, because like, they are that's a legit queen size everybody like yeah. holy heck arms are all the way out yeah and that's so obviously two people fit very comfortably it does help that you have the extended pro master and that's why we we're we talking got about that yeah it allows us to have the queen if we didn't that. have the extended we'd be getting rid of because that added what an extra foot and a half two feet yeah i mean i don't think we could do a full-size bed because i move no, so much when i sleep no, no, no. we went from the king light. to the queen and that was a big transition nice for us it's well, fine now, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sometimes I get kicked, but you know, it's life. Well, it's you know, it's it's really not because queen. I mean, I don't know. Queens, queens are big. I sleep on a full, smaller than a full, and you guys are complaining about but a you're queen. You're by yourself. Not all the time. What else do you guys want to tell me? The his and hers clothing area. Okay, and you have a closet right behind me. Come on, you guys have so much freaking storage. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but we have to hold all four seasons worth of clothes. So. So you have no storage unit. Unless, no storage unit. No storage unit. It's Home base is St. Louis, Missouri, so we'd have to go all the way there to get it, and we don't usually go except once a year. Okay, you have a ton of storage underneath that bed, too. It's true. Like, almost too much, I think. Yeah. No way. Well, No way, Jose. <laughs> we're not using the bikes very much, and that's taking a ton of space. Okay. There's also some snowshoes I picked up last, season, last year that I need to figure out how to use, so there's definitely some stuff that we're not utilizing it for. Yep. You could get away with getting a smaller van for sure. We even talked about... Uh, smaller Not vans. Exciting. Yeah, you got to do that. By the way, <laughs> next 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 van, right? If we do another van, we'll get a smaller one. Yeah. Yeah, all wheel drive. Oh geez, here we go. Four by four. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, if you want to spend the extra fifteen grand, go right ahead. It depends. We're this is our run, this is our trial. You know, we'll see how much we would actually use it. Yeah. And go from there. A lot of people are gonna maybe ask. Uh, you know, how did you do this? How did you do this? How did you do this? Guys, on their YouTube, they're doing a video series of that. I'm literally going through every single video that we recorded when we were building now. We got video on everything, but it's just taken me a long time to edit and chop because we had no idea what we were doing when we were recording. We yeah. had no idea how to edit videos, so... So do you have respect for me now? I have respect for myself as well. <laughs> it's a lot of work. <laughs> Holy crud. It's yeah, just like one it video is. took so many hours. It's yep. ridiculous. Yep, welcome so, to my life. We yeah. Got, what did we get? Our second video out two days ago. We're yeah. working on our third video. So go check them out. Yeah. Lindsay and Danny Van Life. Check them out. Thanks for the shout out, Jared. Yeah, You're right. You're the best. Oh, man. We have this sink. I pushed for this because every time I'd watch a video, 90% of them, they have these like little itty bitty sinks and I have no idea how they do dishes in them. They are the Jedi of dishes doers. But I wanted this big sink. I pushed for it and I absolutely love it. I highly suggest it. If you are looking into building a van, it's to look into these deep sinks because not only is it for dishes, but it also stores dishes while you're driving and they're not falling over or spilling water or anything of that nature. Yeah. So how deep is this, do you know? I can't remember. 
Uh, it's pretty damn deep, though. It's like, one, dude, it's like 12 or 14 found inches. It on Amazon. We had one in mind, and we went bigger because the one I ordered ended up being like what happened to you the other day. You ordered it, and then they canceled on you and said, we don't have it anymore. So. Well, it was a blessing in disguise then. Yeah, we went even bigger by a couple inches, maybe 15 or 17 inch. Depth but, uh, or just squareness? I don't remember. I just remember that number. I want, it's pretty damn big, man. And by the way, even with their leaf up, I was just standing in this little area here where you can still stand yeah, comfortably. You can still get by. There's a, uh, a lot of people are doing this. It's the drinking water. This is probably fine due to having a RV water filter system on the water when I pull it from like a gas station or something. But we wanted to have the water system to be able to put any kind of bad water in there. It takes mm -hmm. out germs and everything, so you can yeah. use So it's like, yes, yeah, so you have an onboard uh, filtering system. Yeah, yeah, filter system. Yeah. So it gets out bacteria, lead, arsenic, Nice. We may do some that. international stuff in the future, so that's why we wanted to do that. Oh, pretty cool. So <laughs> did you do all your electrical too? All the electrical, all the gas, all the plumbing. And you have no experience in that. You're a freaking nurse. You operate on people. My, my, my dad was a little bit of a handyman. He passed away when I was younger. My brother was also kind of a handyman. Now, we, they didn't do anything you know, professional or anything like that, but I got a little bit of knowledge from them. I have a friend that's a handyman, so he helped me a little bit on the plumbing. Thanks, Chad. And otherwise, <laughs> it was a lot of YouTube. All right, guys, we are going to call it a night soon. Actually, they cook for me quite often. You're not cooking for me tonight, though. No, we're going out. Yeah, we should, well, I'm supposed to we like, finish my band. I'm supposed no, to be finishing no, my band right no. now. We're That's gonna so celebrate, awesome. baby. So, what are we celebrating? Van we're, tour. We're famous now. You did our tour. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> but uh, actually, they do cook for me a lot. We um, we uh, I met them at a festival. Uh, what was it? We started a, a trend. Yeah. 2, 2 a.m. steaks. Yeah. <laughs> we uh, we started eating steaks at 2 a.m. one night um, mm -hmm. after a few few cocktails. I don't know what they're talking about. It was completely sober. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, and then we did it again at Descend on Bend. Uh, these are the this is the couple that was next to me at Descend on Bend. If you haven't checked out that video, go check it out. Guys, check them out. Lindsay and Danny Van Life. Obviously, like and subscribe to my channel because I don't know. I do tours like this He's all kind the time. Of awesome. I'm not really I'm traveling nurse. Pretty amazing. Just some stay at home cat mom. YouTube creator. <laughs> Hustler. 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 Yeah. Hustler. 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 All right. No, she does work hard. All these. I'm kidding. Do you know how much weight they have in this thing? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, they did have a weight, right? You're, they're, they got springs in there so it can handle all the weight. So it's aftermarket. We're maxing it out right now at 9,400 pounds. It is supposed to only go up to 9,350. So I'm getting rid of stuff. We've we got, already gotten rid of some stuff. I we've gotten rid of a pretty good amount. We're going to reweigh, but I had just got done building the step today. That's more weight. So it's, Dude, that was like at most 15 pounds we're gonna have to get an extra leaf spring i hear so yeah they're not that bad though we'll figure it get out get your leaf spring we'll be good we got some work to do so it's not done yet uh, there's always something extra you can do in upgrades right yep hashtag yeah. van life van life is real van life is real <laughs> all right guys i'll see you guys later Lindsay and danny van life we'll check them out later